வெல்கம் டு பிக் டேட்டா ட்ரங்க் ஆல் அபவுட் பிக் டேட்டா அண்ட் ஹடு திஸ் வீடியோ கிவ்ஸ் எ ப்ரீஃப் டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் அபவுட் அப்பாச்சி ஃப்ளூம் த மெயின் அஜெண்டா ஆஃப் திஸ் செஷன் இன்க்ளூட்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் ஃப்ளூம் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் ஃப்ளூம் அண்ட் ஸ்கூப் ஃப்ளூம் டேட்டா ஃப்ளூ மாடல் ஃப்ளூம் டிசைன் கோல்ஸ் யூஸ் கேசஸ் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளூம் ஃப்ளூம் கமேண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபைனலி some practical exercises on flum flum is a distributed data collection service for getting streaming event data from different sources examples of streaming data includes web logs gps tracking data social media updates and digital sensors generated data the general meaning of flum is a channel that directs water from a source to some other location where water is required in a similar way by using flume we can collect data from streaming application servers and transfers this streaming data to hdfs for data analytics flume is a robust fault tolerant and having failover recovery mechanisms now we will see what is the difference between flume and scoop Flume is a service for efficiently collecting and moving of streaming data whereas scoop scoop is a command line connectivity tool for moving structured data source of data in flume is streaming application servers whereas in scoop source of data is non hadoop data stores that is relational database management systems The real time example for flume is collecting log data from one system in a bank of web servers in scoop organization loads the days data from a production db into a hive data warehouse here the diagram shows clear picture of flume data flow model flume consists of four important components they are flume agent source channel and sync a flume agent is a jvm process that hosts the components through which events flow from an external source to the next destination event is a single unit of data flow typically a single log entry approximately 4 kb of size source the place where a node gets its data stream channel a channel is a mechanism by which flume agents transfer events from their source to their sinks sink the entry that delivers the data to the destination for example hdfs sink that write events to hdfs in flume flow starts from client here data server act as a client when client transmits the events to the source source receives these events then delivers to channels from channel events are consumed by sync and then finally writes to hdfs here we will see flume design goals Flume was designed with four design goals in mind. The first one is reliability. Flume is fault tolerant and provides high availability. Why because Flume emphasizes fault tolerance as a core design principle and keeps running collecting data even when some components fails. The second one is scalability. Flume scales horizontally by adding more vision missions. in order to handle high loads and thereby we can meet required throughput the next one is manageability the ability to control data flows monitor nodes and modify the settings comes under manageability flume provides a central management that is flume master for dynamic reconfiguration the final one is extensibility ability to add new functionality to a system flume can be extended by adding connectors to existing storage layers or data platforms 
Now we can identify some use cases of Apache Flume. Sentiment analysis and brand reputation. Financial service firms deploy Flume agents in various applications such as call centers, CRM, web applications and mobile apps to pull data from all channels into HDFS then analyzing these data strains to help deliver insights. The another one is quality control and production improvement. In factories, many machines in production produce log files. Manufacturers deploy flume agent to collect these log files from production machines and store them in HDFS. The analysis of these large volumes of log files can provide significant information to pinpoint potential problems and improve quality control. Flume Commands By executing Flume Help command in terminal, we can list out all the commands which comes under Flume. The list of commands we can see in screenshot clearly. Next we will move to some practical exercises on Flume by executing these commands. In our first exercise, we are reading a file from local system and generating each line in a file as a separate log event on console. Here our test file is a source and console is a sync. In Flume execution environment, we need to mention first Flume word for executing every Flume command. Here dump is a command and test with specified path is an argument. In our test file having two lines. By executing this command we are getting each line as a log event on console. The screenshot shows it clearly. In this exercise we are piping data from file into flume. Here we are tailing a file instead of just reading a file. In order to execute this command we need to use two terminals. One for giving input data to the file and another for getting each line of file as a separate log event. We are using flume dump tail command with specified path. By executing this command, we will get the required output as shows in screenshot. This exercise is similar to previous one but only the difference is we are piping data from multiple files instead of single file. We are using multi tail with two specified file paths as arguments. Screenshot represents this difference clearly. Please subscribe to our channel and visit bigdatatrunk.com. Thank you.